Hello and welcome to another Dymo XTL tutorial. Uh, today we're going to be looking at the 110 block, uh, which I believe is also similar to the punch down blocks uh, on other printers. That's what they're known as on other printers. I personally haven't had any experience with the uh, 110 blocks or punch down blocks, but by the looks of it, it's to do with data and telecoms. It's really, again, very easy to use. We've got lots of standards in here. So we've got the C4 four pair data grade. You can see the uh, design change as you go through. Uh, voice grade, uh, and a C5 five pair voice grade as well. Uh, so let's just go to the data for this example. And really these are very, very standard. So there's not really much you can change on these. It's just the blocks. Again, you can input numbers, text, if you wanted to put barcodes in, it's unlikely. Uh, I think you can put barcodes, no you can't put barcodes in. You can put in symbols, but really these are purely down to text or numbering. Uh, again, you can just go through and put number, uh, in data into each individual one, but you could uh, serialize the entire set all the way through, as you can see from there. One of these, there we are, the box, that's it. It might be handy to put a board around it like that. Maybe you can manually set the text size, as some of them are a little bit bigger than others. Nice and uniform, ready to print. I don't think you'd use 54mm for this, but you might do. It's probably a lot smaller. I'd imagine 12mm would be the type of size you'd be expected to use 12, 18, or 24. And there you go, that's ready to go on a 110 block. Got more tutorials to come. Don't forget to subscribe to us on YouTube and follow us on Twitter. Loads more tutorials on our blog and a few more to come. Thank you very much for watching.